Okay, this video we're going to look at performing operations with rational expressions using WX Maxima. And these are the two problems I'm going to work. I'm going to add these two and multiply these two. And, you know, you, you can subtract. You would, If you wanted to subtract them, that would just be a minus sign. If you wanted to divide them, you would just put the division, you know, the, uh, the slash there, okay, for division. But, you know, it's all the same. All right. So, you know, if you want to write these down, you can. I'm going to switch over to WX Maxima. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the first problem. We want to add the two. All right. So let's enter in the first one. So we have X plus 3. And then make sure you move outside the parentheses divided by and then parentheses x squared plus x minus 2 okay move outside the parentheses and then plus this will be our first one and then to enter in the second rational expression that would be uh, 2 divided by parentheses x squared minus 1 okay and there we go. Okay, it didn't do anything. All right. So what we need to do is we use a command, and and if you wanted to, you can come up here to simplify and simplify expression. That's that's what we're using. Okay. But what I'll do is I'll just type in the command, rat simp parentheses. Now we could retype this in. Okay. But instead of doing that, if I use the percent symbol, what it does is it recalls the last output that WX Maxima gave you. So it's going to recall this, okay, the percent sign will. And then I hit enter, and that gives me this answer here. So basically what it's saying is, well, it doesn't reduce anymore. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I mean, I guess we can kind of figure that out because, uh, well, for one thing, the numerator doesn't factor. Okay, you can see that. But what we can do is we can factor. We can factor, and I want to factor this. Okay, so it'll factor whatever can be factored. Of course, the numerator can't be factored, but the denominator, maybe it can. Let's see. So I'm going to do percent. I want to recall this, and I hit enter. And there it is. So you can see that the denominator did factor, but the numerator didn't. Now, the other thing we could have done is you could just type in RATSIMP instead of typing this in and then typing this in. You could just do this and then type this inside the parentheses. I'll just copy and paste it. And you put that in here. Okay. And hit enter. And there it is. You can see it gave you this output. But what we could also do is I could type in factor. And what I'll do is I'll highlight this because all of this needs to be in parentheses right there. So if you highlight it and hit the open parentheses, it'll put the parentheses around that whole thing. And then I hit enter, and you can see it gives me that output there. So you can do it all in one line. Okay, so the next problem, um, this one here, uh, we type it in the same way, and what I'm going to do is I am going to pause the video while I type it in because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and watch me do that and I'll be back when I get it typed in. Okay so I've got it all typed in okay and you know you're just gonna have to be careful when you type it in you know so that you don't miss a parenthesis or something but you know good thing if you type it in wrong you miss a parenthesis WX Maxima will let you know. Okay so I mean I've got it typed in so then I just hit enter and here you go this is what it gives us okay and of course that's not what we 
won't, we want to see, well, does it simplify any? Okay, so we'll do the rat simp, and then remember I want to recall this, so that's parent, I mean, a percent sign, and there you go. It simplifies it to one. Okay, and you know, just like before, you could have typed it all in, in at once instead of doing this step and this step. That's up to you. Either way will work. Okay, so, and the one thing I want to, I don't, I don't know if I mentioned it, I, th I might have, but I can't remember. But just remember, when you're typing in, like for instance, uh, like here, the 6x, okay, just, just remember, well, I'm sorry, not that one, this one here. When you're typing in, right here, the 3x, you have to put the times. You can't put just 3x. You have to put the multiplication symbol or the x maximum will, uh, you'll get an error message. All right. So hopefully this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks.